Welcome back to Carson Tate's video log, and we're sitting live on the streets of Provincetown, and I have a very, very special guest. What's your name? Uh, Robin Tyler. No. <laughs> Hi, Kate Clinton. Oh, I'm so excited to do this with you. <laughs> Wrong name. So, um, so I have a quote, and it's like one of my favorite quotes about you. It's from Kate Kendall, who I think is Love a hero. Her. My hero. Um, Kate Clinton has held the mirror that reflects every single issue that has faced us in the last 25 years. We have laughed with her, yeah. cried with her, and been changed by her. And I can't think of any more appropriate statement to say about you. Thank you. You know, I have a Kindle and I named it after Kate, so it's Kate. <laughs> Kate's Kate's Kindle. Kindle. <laughs> it's Kate Kindle. I told her, then I lost it. Well, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. So, you started out as an English teacher. I was an English teacher, high school, 11th and 12th grade for eight years. Perfect prep for doing stand-up comedy. Oh, yes. Tougher, <laughs> actually. They come back every day. They, uh, you have to work in the room. And I was the hardest time. Some days when I'm doing two shows, like here, and remember Women's Week, doing a couple of shows, they're like, that's really hard. I'm like, I just do five every day. Five a day. Yeah, <laughs> easily. So you're like, like this love you. I love them. I love them. And I think it really did help me to, um, you know, when I plan a show, it's much like doing less I love to be, you know, do improv, but I like to have a place to start from. So I'm probably always over prepared. So that, that was a question I had for you, and it's how much prep do you do for your shows? Because I write all the time, which is a lovely thing. You know, it's harder now because if something gay ever happened, um, you know, when I started like 30 years ago, you could talk about it for, you know, five years. And, you know, Lily Tomlin, she wore purple, disgust, five years. But now I feel like there's so much happening. So it's like I'm just slightly ahead of it. And not, some days not at all. You know, like somebody, if I'm flying on a plane and I land someplace after like a five-hour flight, and I go, "Did you hear about? Uh, did you hear about the, um, the gubernatorial candidate from uh, from Buffalo? And what he said? Okay, people are like, know what happened? And they're like, oh, so it's amazing. Yeah, it is. And so you do a weekly vlog? I do a weekly vlog. It comes on my website, kateclinton.com. Lots of current issues in that vlog. I enjoy watching Thank very you. much so. Thank you. I really enjoy your costumes. I was going to bring a costume for you to wear. <laughs> I, had, I had snagged a crown from Burger King, Aww. but no, I <laughs> just didn't feel like we should advertise okay, for I Burger King. Did I say Burger King head. twice already? <laughs> um, so I noticed you have a little notebook here. I do. So you're writing things about people you see? Um, or just ideas? All about? kinds of things, but I do know that I have to write ideas I think, oh yeah, I'll remember that. I won't. I won't. Absolutely not. I'm the same way. Yeah. It's got to be jotted down. And then I, when I put a routine together, I just like to put tons of papers all flying all over the place. It's <laughs> good to know. And I try to wrangle them, make it something. Yeah. Well, um, so this is this your latest book? It is my latest book. I thought it might be. Number three. <laughs> you can get it at Burger King. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. You might be able to. I'd love it. Would that be nice? It would be great. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you to for this for me later. I would love that. Um, so that's your third book. Are you working on more books? Do you do you enjoy the writing process of comedy more than the stand-up part? Or when I'm circling New York for the fourth hour, uh, I wish I were at my desk. When I'm at my desk and just like tearing my hair off because I don't know what to do, I wish I were circling New York and going to the show. Um, but I love, you know, I love performing and I love writing. I love them both. And I think it's important and to have a long career. You have to do all kinds of things, you know. Um, I, you know, I MC dinners, I do conferences, I do performances, I write columns. I mean, you just yeah, have you're to do all it. over the place. I mean, no, which is tired. great. I mean, you're like the queen of social media. As far as <laughs> well, the person to thank is Michelle Carlsberg <laughs> right there. I work for her. <laughs> <laughs> she said you got to do more tweets. I'm like, oh my god, okay. Do you ever watch yourself on tape? Obviously no. not while you're live. No. No, I don't watch myself on tape. I don't read reviews, good or bad. Yeah. Um, and, you know, something really horrible, then Michelle tells me. But, um, and then I yeah. punch. Does it seem wrong? No, it, it, it doesn't seem wrong. Well, it doesn't seem wrong either, either actually. <laughs> It's a good word. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's yeah. cathartic. Um, and remains, uh, so I, you know, I really don't. I just so popular. I, yeah. I, I mean, I when I I, I do the editing on my audio tapes. So by the end of those, like, did you ever in your whole life ever say a sentence in the beginning of it? <laughs> <laughs> 
one time we were cutting, it was like an old old thing, and we had like razor to tape and tape it together, and that was like the first two, match, first two records. And so we cut all that out and put them together and, and sounded like a dog <laughs> licking itself. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your um, doing the Lady Ha Ha tour. Mm -hmm. And that's, I love that. I love your little poster. Oh, thank you. Lady Ha Ha. Thank outfit. you. It's a, it's a different look for me. Usually I'm kind of bright and cheery and it's kind of. A, Kind of Star, going, yeah, we yeah. liked it. And of course, the gay men love it. The lesbians are like, I like you better smiling. I oh. love Lady Ha. Thank you. I love Lady Ha. I think her politics are extraordinary. I'm her music thrilled. is awesome. Oh, she's yes. a show girl. I'm a gay man at heart. She is just fabulous. She's great. So, it's. I would like to say that it was an inspiration, but it could have been a typo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like writing Lady Gaga and hit the, hit the wrong thing. So, what's different about this show? I've seen your past shows. Um, your last show was um, for election season. So, what what's different about this show? You know, my show's a lot always like a newspaper. It's like got the current news of the day, current news, it's got opinion, uh, media reviews. You know. So, it, depending on what's in the news, that's how the show's doing. Although I have to say, this particular three or four months before the midterm election has been very much about encouraging people to get out and vote and Absolutely. get out of themselves. The world didn't change in two years. Grow up. You know, we've yeah. got a lot of work to do. I mean, it's been 40 years of anti-government rhetoric. Yeah. We're going to need all, yeah. a couple we'll more, more, two more time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. Um, you live in Provincetown, but how Actually, much time? I live in New York. Oh, you do? Yeah, I live in New York, and uh, I work here. It's like a myth that you live in Provincetown. Oh, it's a hope. Because I've seen, like, little, you riding your bicycle. Yeah. And... Well, I have a house here. I okay, managed well... to buy a house here in <laughs> 1990. All right, you own property in Provincetown. <laughs> I know. I got lucky years ago, years and years ago. Um, but I mostly live in New York. How much my... time do you get to spend here? Um, you know, certainly July and August, and then sometime in the fall, and then we try to get here as so far as we can. It's a bit, if we lived in Boston, we would achieve it better, but sure. it's a five-hour drive from New York. Um, and, but, you know, it's very lovely. We'll be here for the holidays. So what's what's so great about Women's Week for people who haven't experienced it? Um, that's so great. First of all, it's a beautiful time of year. Here. Absolutely. It's gorgeous, gorgeous time of year. Uh, the light is wonderful. It's, you know, turning toward this, the, you know, the town is still open and up and running. And it's fabulous sales all over town. The bins are out to buy things. And it's just great to um, be together. And for me, it's great to see all my former friends who are here. Yeah. Because usually it's like the goal is never to be in the same town as them. Right. So, or, you know, it's fun to be on a boat, but, you, you know, we work hard on those things. Um, so this is just great. Was there ever a time you had to stand on the street and pass out flyers? No, I never, I never did it, and I really think that's why people like me. <laughs> that she didn't bother us with those flyers. None of those Let's flyers. None of those show. papers laying yeah. on. She never harassed me. I'm going to her show. Well, we've, we've gone to your show every year we've been here. So no helping, flyers. Thank you for helping me buy my house. You're welcome. Yeah. Got the room for us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Casa Manana. Oh, excellent. Casa Gay Manana. I like that. Lesbiana Manana. So we'll be posting this soon, so people can catch you at the Crown and Anchor. This week, yep. and um, you're doing a couple of shows a day. I'm doing a show this Thursday night. I'll do a show tonight at seven, and then Friday and Saturday I do a show at three and seven, both days. On um, Saturday, I'm going to do a um, really fun discussion about writing with um, that the, with the Bywater Books folks. with the Bywater Books people, and that's that'll be great. And it's free. That's what we really and free is great. I like that. And um, and then I'm on the road. I'm but if you go online, Caitlin.com, I read it so I know where I'm going next. Caitlin.com. <laughs> and you can also subscribe to her blog um, at Caitlin.com. Mm -hmm. and, and it's fantastic. Gives you a weekly um, excellent news source. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, thanks for joining us here today. You thanks are definitely one of my heroes. Thank you, honey. I love my hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is Carson Tate's video log, Kate Clinton's in and Provincetown. Hair tips. <laughs> and hair tips, <laughs> signing out. <laughs>